going to do this the same way as we've been doing. This is example seven. Factoring a trinomial in two variables. Whoops. Factoring a trinomial in, they call it in two variables. I'd call it with two variables, but they wrote the book, I didn't. So here's our factor. x squared minus xy minus 12y squared. All right. We're going to do this the same way, only here we know we're going to multiply x times x to get x squared. Now we have a y squared here. So we're going to have to multiply y times y to get that y squared. So we'll put a y here. All right? Now there's some number out in front of that y. We don't know what it is yet. What number is out in front of this xy? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a 1 out here, right? There's all, if you don't have a number, there's a 1 out there, right? In this case, it's a negative 1, right? So, um, let's look at the signs. This is a negative. If this is a negative, it means one of these... Whoops, what did I do here? It's going to be x times x to get x squared, y times y to get y squared. One's negative and one's positive. So I'll just write a positive here and a negative here. Now, what numbers gives us 12? What factors give us 12? Well, 1 and 12. We went through this just a minute ago. 2 and 6, 3 and 4, 5, and that's it, right? Those are the numbers multiplied together that give us 12. So we're going to subtract because this is positive and negative. 1 from 12 is 11. That's not a 1. 2 from 6, 2 from 6 is 4. That's not a 1. 3 from 4 is 1. So here's a 1. Now, we've got to figure out, these are going to be our factors. Which is going to be negative and what's positive? If this number is negative, it means the biggest one is positive, is negative. This is negative, the biggest one is negative. So it's going to be a negative 4 and a positive 3. So here's our negative sign. We'll put the 4 here and we'll put the 3 here. Now let's check that. Let's just check that. How do we check it? Well, we use FOIL. All right? Remember what FOIL was. First times first. This is F. First times first. X times X is X squared. Outside times outside. X times a minus 4X. That's plus X times a minus 4 times Y. Okay? Inside times inside. That's a plus 3 times y times x. And then last times last. Here's our last. It's a minus 3 times a minus 4 is a minus 12. y times y is y squared. Now let's we can, this is x times minus 4 times y. Let's put, always put the x for the number first. So this is going to be x squared plus, we'll keep a parenthesis here because of our sign, minus 4, then we'll put the x times x times y. I just rewrote this number. 
plus, we'll put the number first, and then the x, and then the y. When we're multiplying like that, it doesn't matter what order they're in. Minus 12y squared. So plus a, a minus, this is going to be x squared minus 4xy plus 3xy minus 12y squared. Well, what's minus 4xy plus 3xy? Notice these are like terms. They both have x's. They both have y's. The x is raised to the first power in both of them. The y is raised to the first power in both of them. So they're like terms. So we can subtract this from this. If we subtract 4 from 6, we get a negative 1. So we get minus 1xy. We don't usually write the 1. Minus 12y squared. This is the same as what we started with. So these are the factors. The factors are x plus 3y times x minus 4y. Okay? That's the end of example 7.